I'd like to call everybody up here, past and present, who is a drug user, just to stand out here so everybody can see you and they can acknowledge you. You know, these are amazing, beautiful, smart, tough people, and they don't deserve to die just because they use a drug. I will give them all a hand. These are some amazing folks. You know, these are our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our lovers, our friends. You know, I love these people and they love us. There's no need for them to be passing on. The last thing I could remember, I was inside of the apartment mixing a hit of the dope I had just scored. Now I was being carried out of the place on a stretcher, hooked up to a bunch of machines with an oxygen mask on my face. The paramedics explained that they believed I had overdosed and I was being taken to the hospital. <clears throat> As they were putting me into the back of the ambulance, I asked them to make sure my purse was with me because I knew that the rest of my drugs were in it and I couldn't wait to just get to the hospital and do another hit. <clears throat> Here I was on my way to the hospital after a possible overdose and all I could think about was when I could use again. I had two blood clots, one of which was in my brain. I had kidney failure, I had collapsed lungs, I had seven internal abscesses on my left hip and pelvic bone. My chest still hurts when I take a deep breath and my heart will never be the same again. But I am alive and I am clean. I came here specifically to remember my brother, Maxwell Rodeman, who died of a fentanyl overdose in June of this year. Um, my brother ended up using alone a lot because it was so stigmatized and if there were more safer injection sites where he lives in Maine, if there was broader policy change, this probably wouldn't have happened. There's been a lot of really great successes in the last year, as you know, everybody knows, we've gotten naloxone out to a lot of people. We now have four supervised injection sites in this community. Uh, we've got some managed opiate programs, but I don't really think we can rest on our laurels. These are basically programs that are going to be there in a re an emergency, a response to a crisis. What we need to do is have a non-toxic drug supply so people aren't overdosing in the first place.